When I start working on a show, I like to take into account as much of the context as I can. So, for instance, uh, when I come to a place, I like to include uh, sort of elements of the place, but also the space that I'm working in as well. The sort of context of the whole was brought out when I was worked with a John Heffernan, who's a, uh, the curator here when I first started. And he kind of quite sensitively kind of pointed me in the directions of quite a few organisations, one of them being a plaques firm called GK Bueller. And the interesting thing about that was its relationship with my other practice, which was a lot to do with uh, branding and graphics and packaging. The Bueller project has led to the three plaque works that I've got on display called Blazons. GK Bueller started out as a plaque maker for the shipping industry and they started making plaques for every ship that came into port, had a historic plaque made. From then they've kind of developed new lines so they make uh, sort of plaques for football teams or for industry or even for, I don't know, people's birthdays. So they've sort of widened out their appeal but they've still kept to the a quite historical format. The kind of whole process with GK Bueller was kind of quite lengthy. Initially, I had to research kind of what sort of skills the company had. So I kind of worked with some of the uh, artisans there. The process behind creating Leo's work was initially reproducing and programming the designs for our 3D CNC engraving software. The CNC machine actually engraves inwards and back to front. So you have to get your head around this aspect before you start machining. A casting is then taken from the design, which is sanded down, primed and sprayed a background colour. The individual designs are then hand painted by our artists in our art department with a reference to the original artwork. The 3D element to the designs is enhanced by the shading through the hand painting process. Part of the process was thinking about historic shields that are actually currently still seen and, and probably it's the car industry that, that has ones that have stayed with us the longest and particularly sort of some famous marks like Lamborghini and Ferrari and uh, one of the things I wanted to do is create these very very small plaques, they're very similar to the, the ones you'd have on a bonnet and actually make them more symmetrical in a way. I mean, a car is quite a symmetrical object and it just sits on the centre of the bonnet. One of the transformative things that I hadn't quite expected but did come, come out of it is once, once these things are, um, are made by hand, um, they, they, they sort of uh, emanate a completely different sort of feel. It was quite useful to work with GK Bueller in that sense because they were actually working on this scale anyway and they had all of the skills that were kind of necessary. And for me that was quite an unexpected thing and um, a very interesting part of the process and something that, will, that could well lead on to sort of some new works in the future.